Welcome back, Megabytes. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Jonathan. I'm the children's librarian here at the Ashburton Public Library. Um, and in today's session, uh, we're carrying on with our series on making a side-scrolling platformer using MakeCode Arcade. Um, this is part two. So in this episode, we are creating uh, multiple levels for our platformer. So the first thing we're going to do is go into functions, so that's under advanced, go into functions, and making a new function, we're going to call it change level, change underscore level, and it has a number element to it, so this is going to be called level number, level number, excellent, done, down here. I've created tile maps so we don't waste any time with me mucking around making those so they are ready to go. Um, right, so once you've got your function there, um, we're going to add in an if block. And an equals block. And so grabbing the level number from here, so if the level number equals 1, then we want it to show the first time map. So our first time map that we created that we put in the start here, we're actually going to take it out of here, pull that apart, and stick it in there. Now this place my sprite on top of random, we're just going to pop that at the bottom here, um, so that will happen for all of our levels. Um, and what we need to do up here is we need to call the function into being, otherwise it's not going to happen. So if we go back in functions, there will be call level, level change, which is that one. So when it starts, it creates the background, creates your sprite. Um, and then it calls into being their levels, our level function, um, starting at level fun level number one. So just a reminder, that was our first level. The green flag represents where the sprite um, is placed at the beginning, and the orange flag represents changing uh, changes us on to the next level, which we're going to come to um, in a moment. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to add on to this. So if the level number equals to 2, oh, here we go. And we're going to grab this uh, diamond shape. And a couple of those. 2, if the level number is 2. Grab that one, and if the level number is three, if level is three, then we're going to grab that one there. So level one, looks like that one. Level two, created this one, so you got to climb up the ladder, drop down, jump across, up the zigzag, up to the platform at the top. And then level three, which gives you sort of two paths, one that doesn't quite get you there, and one that does. And then you'll notice on this one here, there's a red flag there, and that's going to represent ending the game. We'll come to that later. Okay, and we'll get rid of that one there. All right, so that's how that works. Um, now, now we need to say what happens when we overlap the orange flag. So, if we go jump into scene and we go on sprite the kind overlaps location. So, sprite the kind player overlaps the orange flag location. Uh, we want to change the level, so we want to create a variable 
I'm going to make a new variable, and it's called change level. Uh, sorry, uh, not change level, it's called current level. Current level. Current level. So we're going to change the current level. So we're making current level. Change current level, that's what we want. So we want to change the current level by one. And we want the blue block from here and functions and call level that one. And instead of call level one, we're going to call current level. Variables. Yeah, so what we're saying here is that when our character crosses over the orange flag, uh, we change the current level by one. So if it starts at one, of course, it changes it by one, it changes it to two. And then it calls the current level, which will now be two. So therefore, it will bring up level two. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to create another one of these ones here. So back into, oops, you can barely see. Uh, I'm supposed to find overlaps. The red flag is our final one. Nice and easy. We're going to go game, game over. Win! Hooray! Uh, and to be honest, that's really all there is to it. It was nice and simple, um, simple one this time. So let's just give it a wee demo run. So watching over here on the demo screen, and hopefully I can do this without dying too many times. Because when you do die, it does go all the way back to the start. It's not the start of the first, not the start of that particular level. Um, but, uh, hey, what happened there? I got something wrong here. Yeah. Went back to, aha, not sure what happened, never mind, it's working now. Excellent. And the last level, which if you go along the bottom route, it's uh, wrong. So we'll go across the top route. And big jump. Hooray! We win! Uh, so there we have it. Uh, that's how we um, make our game. Um, ah, that might be. Part of our problem here, so set current level to one. I jumped the gun there, so we just need one last little bit. Set current level. We didn't say that. To one. That's probably why we had that wee glitch in the first round. So we'll just double check that again. So set current level to one. All change levels. Um, so hopefully this is fixed. Yes, fix the problem. Good. All right, thanks, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Uh, we are going to be creating a way of gaining points um, in your game, and then after that, we will start looking at um, making enemies um, and a way of shooting your enemies as well which is always useful um, once we've done all this then you can create as many levels as you want um, and make your games as complex as you possibly can um, that'd be great all right we'll see you in the next video soon Go kids.